What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, Mason and I are setting out on our first, possibly only ever cross country trip. So let me show you the van. We got everything loaded up and we're just about to head out. You can see we got a bike rack on the back. Um, my bike was broken, so I actually gonna have to uh, pick one up um, on the way there, probably at Walmart or something. We got this massive cargo um, storage container on the top and that's pretty much completely full. We've got ski gear, um, extra clothes because right now there's three different climates that we're gonna be going through. And uh, so we got all that in there. Bit of a mess, but not too bad. We got our duffel bags with our main clothes in there. Uh, we got a little mini fridge in here. Um, and we got, you know, some milk and butter and stuff, dedicated butter holders. And of course we got our bedding up here. Toolkit, first aid kit, jumper cables, fire extinguisher, fishing poles, lights, uh, drones. I mean, we got everything in here. We got it packed. We got six boxes of mac and cheese. Um, so we should be good to go. Um, so we're gonna head out and I don't know when I'll catch you next, but our first stop is probably gonna be Niagara Falls tonight. You already know we gotta start this trip off right. Chili's. Yeah. All right, I think it's about 1.30 in the morning. We just found a 24-7 Circle K in the middle of North Syracuse or something. Yeah. And uh, vans doing okay. No issues. I uh, picked up a bike from someone on Facebook Marketplace. Now we're going to fill up on our second take of gas now and be on our way. Mason's turn to drive now. He's filling it up right now, but I got my snacks here. We got this Starbucks energy drink I've never heard of, but raspberry and lime can't be bad. Some pretzel thins and I was looking for some dip, but all they had was this uh, Land Lakes Ultimate Cheddar. It's probably gonna be super gross, but I'm gonna try it anyway. It's a lot creamier than I expected. Yeah, it's basically just cheese whiz. It seems like a lot of cheese. Could be worse. Oh yeah. This is gonna be fun. Mason just ate a five hour energy and is now- uh, It had 10 times the amount of caffeine as a normal energy drink. I think I'm gonna fly. And he's also drinking a full throttle. So his heart might explode, but he shouldn't fall asleep. It is now 5 a.m. Um, we are apparently in Pennsylvania because that comes up this way. I didn't know that. Uh, we're about seven hours from Buffalo. Gonna try to make it there tonight. We'll see, or <laughs> this morning. We'll see. How we doing, Mason? Turns out that five hour energy actually works. Wow crazy i ended up getting an hour hour and a half of sleep back there while mason was uh, buzzed on his five hour energy i'm gonna switch off now go grab our third tank of gas and i'll catch you when anything happens Uh, so my car just got declined a few times um, for fraud because we traveled um, all the way here in a day. But uh, anyway, where are we, Mason? Gallup, Gallio, middle of nowhere. <laughs> Gallops. We're outside Chicago, like 70 miles, filling up. We're not completely empty, but it's like $5 a gallon inside the city, so we're gonna fill up now. Ooh. On the road again. So we made it to Chicago. With some minor inconveniences. We tried to get underneath the tunnel at the Bean and uh, 
we quickly realized that the height clearance was not high enough. Thankfully, we realized this about 30 seconds before disaster when we were about to go into a six foot clearance parking garage with an eight and a half foot tall van. So we are now walking to the bean. What do you have to say about this, Mason? It's green. It is green. Very green. I believe this is for St. Patty's Day, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So we're here on the 14th? And it's on the 17th, so. Who knew? Are you gonna steal deodorant? Might have to. The bean is close. And that's where I do not fit. Go touch the bean. The bean. I don't really want it. Touch oh, it. Look how gross it is. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Fingerprints you can see. Ah, I don't see anything. Whoa. That place didn't have a dining room, so we're walking to their other location. And we got a coupon. We got the pizza. We did. Took forever. Because apparently wow. Chicago style pizza takes forever. But uh, now we're hustling back to the van. Hopefully we didn't get a ticket or get towed. Um, and then we gotta go get chains for the van for uh, Glacier. On our way out, we didn't get towed. Nobody stole our stuff. And uh, yeah, we're picking up the chains and then we're heading to the Badlands tonight. Uh, it's got an 11 hour drive. So I'll get you when anything interesting happens. We're currently chasing the sunrise. It is, what, 5.30, well, 6.31. 6.31, sunrise not supposed to happen until 6.50, but we'll see. Once again, we drove through the night. It's gonna be a good day. That's it. It's literally like we landed on the moon. made it kind of there it is pretty cool we're gonna take the rest of the loop road that goes around um at least the northeast side of them and we're gonna hit up the uh wall drugstore and yeah Pretty cold, not gonna lie, but pretty cool. They're now taking a washboard dirt road to get the full experience. Um, we're looking for some bison maybe, um, but so far it's just a lot of dirt and these uh, mountain things which are pretty cool. A little van that could. I bought this, it has all these different spices in it. Pretty cool. Bone app the teeth. The pan is still clean. All it does is boil water.
How tall do you think that is? <laughs> That's crazy. And then it plateaus up here. This is so weird. Don't worry, I'll put it back. Apparently this place is super famous. Uh, poorly chosen font for the sign, but Famous well, YouTuber. Saw a wall drug. It was interesting. A cat. There was a cat. I got some stickers. And this one was free, so I had to take it. Um and now we're on our way to Planet Fitness to shower and in theory workout. We'll see if that happens. Um, and then we'll go to Rushmore, probably take a nap, set up. A few moments later. Just leaving Planet Fitness now. Mason's in the back because he needs to sleep. He like barely slept last night. Um, I got a little workout in, we both got showers. And now we're gonna go pick up hot dogs. I think we're about 20 minutes from Rushmore and we're gonna try to spend the night around there. Things might change, but that's our plan, so. It doesn't even look real. It's sculpted. Cool rock. Pretty impressive. Now, I jump from here to there. All set up. We're gonna make some uh, hot dogs. Four times or two cups. Bon after the teeth. So it's morning. We're not at the campground or the uh, the park where we were last night. We, well, I started driving. So I was like, hey, not that tired. Might as well cut some time off our trip. So I started driving, got about an hour or two and I was dying. <laughs> so I pulled off and we just slept in a rest area. Now we're in Wyoming, I believe. So we're gonna head out here and get into Glacier today. Not sure how long it's gonna take, but probably about nine ten hours so a little longer than a few minutes later well finally happened we uh we got pulled over and um so here's the thing so it was a 70 mile an hour highway 
turns into a 30 mile an hour residential area. Same road, it doesn't look any different. Um, and the cop, state trooper, that's important. Yeah. The cop was sitting, I, I don't even know, I didn't even see him. Must have been right near the sign because he said I came through the sign at 58 and uh, pulled me over, said that by the time he got to me, I was doing 42. Um, I didn't even see him at first. Mason saw him. Mason was like, hey, I think you're getting pulled over. Like, oh, great. So I pull aside, comes up. He's asking for information and everything. Mason's sleeping in the back. Well, he was sleeping until we were getting pulled over. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mason's in the back. So he comes out the window. He's like, is anyone in the back? I'm like, yeah, it's Mason. Like he would know who Mason was, but it's Mason. Uh, it's Mason. And he's like, okay, are you wearing a seatbelt? And so from everything I saw online, it didn't look like rear passengers had to wear seatbelts. I know this is getting convoluted, but it's all important. So I didn't think seatbelts were important in the back, except for in like New York, which we're not really going through New York that much. So, um, so like, okay. So he goes there, comes back and he's like, well, he's like, you were doing 42 by the time I got to you. That's 12 miles an hour over. So he hands me a ticket for 180 bucks which seems like a lot to me. I've never gotten a ticket before. I've gotten pulled over, never gotten a ticket before, so I don't really have a gauge. Seems like a lot of money, but whatever. And then he gave Mason a citation for not wearing a seatbelt, but his, <clears throat> his was only 10 bucks, which isn't that bad, but it does go on your record, right? Which is kind of a pain. Yeah. And mine goes on my record, but you know, it's whatever. So, uh, yeah. Great start to the morning. Um, now we're on our way. And by on our way, I mean McDonald's. It's only breakfast food. Yeah. Hitting the very beginning of the Rockies right now. As Mason tells me anyway. I so think. if I'm wrong, then you can go ahead and blame me. Blame him. Just hit 160,000 miles. Now it's only a matter of time before this thing blows up. Let's go. I didn't even know you could buy 85. This is like the only gas station for another 25 miles after this. And this was the first one in about 30. We, <laughs> we hit zero miles of range as we're getting off the exit. So, close call. <laughs> Just left that super sketchy gas station. The sketchiest gas station I have ever seen. Well, it wasn't that. Well, I don't know. It was a different kind of sketchy. It was a gas station with every single window had bars on it. And we're not talking just like prison-looking bars. I mean, it was like. Yeah, it was like it, it was like it was like, like quarter inch steel with like chicken wire mesh. Uh, the inside of it reminded me of a Burlington Coat Factory. <laughs> Everything's just kind of there, and you don't really know where it is. There was no prices on anything. Yeah, I'm not that's sure true. That. I did no notice prices. that. The, I mean, you had snacks right next to boots you could buy. They had chains and yeah. In the back, it looked like they have like a, a machining thing. When we pull off the exit, there was like an oil, pump, right? oil pump, whatever, just in a field. And so this is all like Indian reservation land. And so we think this gas station is literally like pumping their own oil out of this field and refining it. So then we're there, get my gas, go inside, get a snack, use the bathroom. I'm at the counter and apparently there's like eight cops pass by and they're all talking about it. And I guess there's this mountain pass. I don't know if it's for oil or coal or mining or whatever. And they were thinking that maybe someone had gone through it. And I guess it's like a huge deal because they were flying. I mean, you saw it in that clip. So. Yeah. I don't know, interesting. We're, and then the GPS is taking us like a different way than we came to get back on the highway, so we're a little nervous. <laughs> but we should be fine. We should be fine. Well, I don't speed like Colby does or blow through, you know, school bus red lights, so I should be fine. I never did that. Yeah, you did. I don't have, you don't have proof of that. I'm trying to kill kids. Yeah. I'm a safe driver. <laughs> Go to 
with Jimmy John's. I got free smells. I got free smells. So I made it to Glacier in one piece. Um, it's cold here, there's snow here, very windy, but it's really cool looking. Um, we kind of just slept in a pullout on the side of the road because everything's closed and there's a lot of roads and campgrounds that we would totally get stuck in. So just slept there, um, you saw the view, super cool. I'm gonna go look for more, probably make breakfast somewhere um, at the bottom of the hill just because it won't be as windy. Uh, but yeah, excited. Run, boy, run. A little bit windy, bud. Pretty crazy. Bone up the teeth, number three. Making chai this morning. soot so not sure when it was but we been following this trail walking on what looks like a snowmobile track but probably heading back soon when i'm walking on a breeze i got no enemies i just do what i please McDonald Lake. It's pretty cool. Uh, may have stolen some rocks. I might take that out so that I don't incriminate myself because Mason says you're not supposed to do that. You're not. I didn't see any signs. I didn't look for any, but I didn't see any. Um, very cool. It's kind of frozen over, but you could tell the water was really clear, which I guess is the big thing with this lake. Um, now we're going to head out find somewhere find somewhere to park make food take a nap do something hike we do something so catch you when that happens for lunch we're going to try to make mac and cheese we might run out of propane but who knows right now we're at lake mcdonald lodge it's right uh, across from heaven's peak or something so, anyway, here we go. No service. Middle of nowhere. Look. 
how he keeps his weight the other way. So that was McDonald Lodge. Awesome. I actually liked it better than the other side, which I can't remember the name of it. But anyway, that's the, the other side is the more famous part, I think. But this side, we're a lot closer to the mountain. A lot cooler, in my opinion. But uh, I think we're going to head out tonight. Probably make some headway towards Redwood. Stop at a Planet Fitness. Shower. Maybe work out. And uh, keep driving tomorrow so we can get a good camp in tomorrow night make a fire maybe and uh yeah so a lot of driving coming up but I'll show you any of the cool views and stuff we see literally just pulled off the highway on this lake access road because <laughs> there was this lake with the sunset and i was like oh that's pretty that's amazing whatever so yeah all right mason's in the car he i woke him up because it's like literally a dirt like access road so all right to planet fitness Outside Portland, Oregon, is Mason. We uh, got coffee. Mason slept. I slept in uh, during the night, but uh, we're about what six hours? Seven? Yeah, six hours from uh, from Redwood. Um, yeah, we're at Walmart right now. Just picked up some more propane and listen to the sweet sound of crackheads. Yeah, listen to some crackheads. They also have a huge gum on the floor problem here, I guess. There's some guy walking around with like a scraper, scraping off so gum, gum from the floor in the Walmart. I don't know. Um, and yeah, so I think the rest is pretty much just me driving today until we get there and uh, make some dinner. But yeah, buck gum. How it, ch how it chews to feel five gum. Yeah, we're tired. <laughs> Six hours later. We have made it to the Pacific. I don't even remember what the last thing I said was, but basically been driving all day. Here we are. Here's Mason, he is a crab. Ooh, he's going out. <laughs> hey, no, don't put it on me. Come here. <laughs> Coming from New England, we thought the water was going to be cold. It is actually pretty warm, which is cool. Probably going to go swimming at some point down the coast. But for now, we're going to go find a campsite. Like I said, we're in the Redwoods, so I'm sure there are plenty. But I'm gonna go find one of those, set up camp, get a fire permit if we need one. And yeah, I'll catch you when we make some dinner. I haven't filmed much, made it to the Redwoods. Looked around for a campsite, mm -hmm. couldn't find one. Um, talked to, what did we call him? Fishy, fishy hand fronds. Yes. I don't know, some guy <laughs> we found that was trying to, I don't even know what he was doing. He was on the beach smoking a blunt and uh we asked him if he was camping there he's like no we're going to the space didn't end up working out but anyway big shout out to hans franz whatever we call them i don't know we don't know his name 
And anyway, now we just cooked. I didn't film it because we're trying not to get eaten by bears out here. And this is what we made. We got kielbasa, mustard, potato, potato. We got bread. I got a bun for mine. Um, water. Water. I made some chai. Uh, I got a Danish. We got water. And we're gonna watch some Batman. So uh, yeah, pretty much good to go. Rained last night. Doesn't make for a great sunrise, but slept pretty dang well. I think it's like 8.30 right now. I probably fell asleep around 10, so 10 hours of sleep. Can't complain about that. Mason, Ooh, Mason just woke up too. But uh, I'm not sure what we're gonna do today. Didn't realize it was gonna rain, so didn't really plan for that, but we'll figure something out some breakfast or something. It's just barely sprinkling right now, so. Going after teeth number Five? Four? I don't know. It's a big tree. It's a very big tree. In the redwoods, they're pretty big. Not gonna lie, just in case you thought I'd lie about that. I did. We saw the big tree, it's supposed to be like 1500 years old, it's like 300 feet tall. Crazy. Now we're just trying to find some cool trails to hike. We're actually not that far from the ocean where we stayed. We're probably what, 15 minutes? Yeah. You can see all the rings. I need a big Yeah, I'm gonna be safe. <laughs> I'm gonna do the right thing. Anybody in here? Put your hand <laughs> Yep, this is a tree. You can tell it is by the way it is. It's kind of burned. Oh. Right, that's just... It's just kind of there. Don't worry, I'll put it back. Well, that's the sky. That's why they call it redwood. Yeah, those are mushrooms. Something probably lives down there. Alrighty then. We walking.
about to head out from, uh, where are we? Uh, we need the Redwood for Trinidad. We're about to head out from, uh, Big Lagoon Campground in Trinidad, I believe. Near Trinidad. Redwood Forest around there. Anyway, um, gonna head out. Gotta make a couple stops today, uh, but our end goal is Big Sur, which is about eight hour drive from here. Um, but we gotta get, do the laundry, go to Plant Fitness, take a shower. Um, and what was the other thing? And Mason's gotta do some homework. So, gonna head out and uh, catch you on the road. think about boats but we're at the bridge Cops came and told us to leave. We're parking in a bad spot, I guess. Uh, there are no signs in this specific spot, but apparently there's one when you enter the park. So he let us off this time. He said it could have been a couple hundred dollar fine though. Montage. Next to your face. Pizza. Pizza. Coronado 
wonderful. The water's a little cold, but uh, it's like 80 degrees in the sun. It's got my Hawaiian shirt on. We're both super pale, but uh, it's gonna chill right now. And I'm not sure if we're leaving the night, maybe even tomorrow morning. We already stopped at a chopper shop and a Volkswagen, well, I guess it was a European shop, but they had a bunch of Volkswagen buses. But our next stop, major stop is Vegas. So we'll either get there tonight, early tomorrow morning, or uh, sometime tomorrow afternoon, depending on when we leave, so. We ain't got no laws, and I still ain't got no boss. So this right here's my job. I need that weed, coffee, cigarettes, and sips of silly side. And I've been waking up at 8 a.m. to vibes that I keep finding. But the light bulb, so the light bulb. Vegas. We uh, left last night, got about a half an hour to an hour down the road, and we are exhausted, so we just pulled over in a rest area. Sorry if it's loud driving, but pulled over in a rest area and spent the night there. Got on the road this morning, stopped at McDonald's for breakfast, and now we're about an hour, hour and a half from Vegas. Wednesday. Our plan is to be back Saturday night and Sunday. Um, so today we're going to go to Vegas, um, probably spend the night around there, maybe get a head start on some driving for tomorrow because tomorrow we're going to hit Utah. Um, not spending a ton of time there, not as much as I'd like to, but Utah's big enough and cool enough that we can do a whole trip there at some point. So um, just kind of driving through, we're going to see the arches and then keep driving past that because we got a good two to three days of driving straight left. Um, so a lot of driving coming up in these next few days, but I'll keep you posted on anything cool we see. Tonight we're gonna be on the strip, probably gonna go to Caesar's Palace for the buffet. A um, little pricey, but we figured it's worth it while we're here. Um, apparently you can't gamble until you're 21 in Vegas, which kind of sucks because we are gonna, you know, risk it all. <laughs> like 50 bucks maybe, 20 bucks. Um, but nonetheless, Mason wants to see the Bass Pro Shop Pyramid because it's what the eighth largest pyramid in the world, seventh largest pyramid in the world. So he wants to see that. Uh, might check out Top Golf. How are you feeling, Mason? Upset that it's actually in Memphis and not Las Vegas. Still going to go in though, so it's just going to look like every Memphis? other one. I, I don't know. What's in Memphis? The pyramid. The pyramid. <laughs> it's not a pyramid. No. Ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. We're in Vegas. Vegas, baby. Just walking downtown right now, heading towards the strip. Park the car. You know it's bad when, the, yeah, exactly. Hopefully we don't get robbed. You know it's bad when the uh, custodian's like, hey, just so you know, you should probably put your bikes inside because there's a lot of crime around here. And, yep, all right. So, all packed up and locked up. So if anything goes wrong, you know. Is what it is.
made it to Zion. We weren't planning on coming here originally, but it was like three hours from Vegas and it was a good place to park. So, um, put in the clip here. This is where we woke up. We had no idea this was here when we parked here because it was pitch black out. That's where we parked, slept a night. It was like 30, it was supposed to be 30 bucks. We kind of got away with 20 because we didn't have enough cash. But, um, took our first drive through Zion. There's really so much stuff here. You need like two weeks to do everything. Uh, but just kind of driving through, uh, you know, taking a look at it. Uh, I accidentally gave Mason a bloody nose this morning. Because you don't know how to drive. I was exiting a parking lot and there was a massive bump. Drivers like Mad Max. And it threw him against the... <laughs> um, but yeah, we just did our first pass in the trail. We're going to go back this way. Um, and then head to Arches, so. later. Stopping 
get, you know, fast food to get us home. But I guess I'll let you know if anything interesting happens. If not, then I'll just let you know when we get back. 2,000 years later. We're in New York. Mason's in the back. We've got about 200 miles, three and a half hours left. Uh, just made our last fill up at the gas station, probably. And gonna hit the road, probably get in around 10, and then I'll probably finish this video in the morning. Um, just signing everything out, so. One eternity later. We made it. We're home. Well, I'm home. I'm not. Mason's not. He's still gotta drive home. You are not taking that bridge. I'll definitely finish this video out in the morning because I'm too tired to think. But we're home. It's about 11 o'clock at night. 13 days. 8,600 miles. And a couple of McDonald's stops later. A couple is an understatement. Mason and I survived without killing each other. It was close, though. It was close. I woke him up a couple times. Wasn't happy about it, but we survived. Now we're home and we gotta unload his stuff. Well guys, morning after, got a good night's rest in. Um, and yeah, that concludes the trip. Uh, Van's over here, super impressed with this thing. Obviously it's a small space for two people to be living in for two weeks, but uh, you know, it handled it well. We got over it. We got very um, familiar with each other, <laughs> uh, as you do when you're right next to each other for two weeks. Um, but overall, no issues. And, you know, can't much ask for much more than that. Definitely going to take the van on a couple more trips, probably smaller ones. You know, this is just about as big as we can do. But uh, if you're interested in that, feel free to subscribe. Uh, also working on that VW bus. So if you're interested in seeing that thing, also subscribe, check out those videos. Um, pretty soon here, we're gonna be getting to the point where we can take that on some maiden voyages, you know, take that on some trips. Not gonna be taking it as far because not as practical to drive, but excited for that. Lots of projects coming, so I'll catch you in the next one.